Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Tucked into our distinguished serving lineup today is Mr. Blake Smith. You want to come up here for a second, please? And seated in the front row is his feisty brother Garrett. Come on up here for a second. Okay, so these are brothers. Step up here so they can all see you, okay? We're going to ask you a few questions here. So do you guys like ever race against each other? All right, yes? Do you race? Who usually wins? Don't answer that question, right? <laughs> so if you're going to start the race, you usually go on your mark, get set. But you didn't move. Try it again. On your mark, get set. But you didn't move. What is your chance of winning the race if you don't move? Zero, right? What is your chance of beating your brother if you don't leave this spot? Zero, right? So like when we go on your mark, get set. But you're still here. So when you hear go, what should you do? Go. So right now you can go back to your seats, right? Give them a round of applause, OK? <laughs> On your mark, get set. And when you hear the word go, what should you do? Go. Some of you don't know that answer. When you hear the word go, what should you do? Go. In the conclusion of the gospel today, in Jesus' final thoughts, what does he say to us? Go. Let me try that again. <laughs> In the conclusion of the gospel, what does Jesus say to us? Go. And what do we do? We do nothing. Right? What do we do? We sit, right? Jesus says, what does he say to us? Go. And what do we do? It should be a pretty sobering thought. Because what's the chance of winning the race if we don't? If we want to go where Jesus has gone, which is heaven, what do we got to do? Go. First reading today. We got to go and be witnesses of the gospel. What do we have to do? We have to go into our world from our second reading and be a force of godly presence. What do we have to do in the gospel today? We have to go and baptize and tell everybody the good news and teach them this different way of life that is Jesus Christ. What do we got to do? And what do we usually choose to do? And nothing. And when we go, we don't go alone. What is the powerful promise at the end of the gospel, the last thing that Jesus said? And when you go, behold, I will be with you. I will be with you. I will be with you. How comforting that should be to all of us. That should give us the strength, the courage, the grace. We never go alone when we go with the Lord. What does Jesus say? The final thought that he wanted planted in their brain. And behold, I will be with you always. So when you go, when you go, you never go alone. You go with the Lord. Now you could sit there and say, oh Bob, we are not feisty like the Smith brothers. I know that. But we all go places. We go home, we go to church, we go to the doctor, we go to school, we go to work, we go to the store. See all the places we go? And when we go, we need to bring with us the Lord. When we go, we need to look for opportunities to witness and tell the good news. When we go, we need to have the grace and the courage knowing that we go with God. And when we go with God, God is with us, and God will do the most amazing things. But we have to have the grace, the wisdom, and the courage to go. Go with the Lord. Wherever we may find ourselves, how do we use that moment, that moment of encounter, to bring people the hope, the promise, the message, the good news, the peace, the mercy of God? Because if you never leave the spot, what's the chance of winning the race? 
Very logical, isn't it? And what was the last thing that Jesus said? He said, go. And when you hear go, what do you got to do? Go. Go in the name of the Lord. As you walk into the week, wherever you go, look for opportunities. Create the opportunities to talk about God, to spread the good news, to share the hope and the promise of the gospel. Wherever you go, know that you do not go alone. What did Jesus say? Behold, I am with you. You are never alone. And thirdly, especially this week as we prepare for Pentecost next Sunday, pray for the grace, pray for the wisdom, pray for the open heart so that the Spirit of God can be with you. That spirit of wisdom, that spirit of strength, that spirit of peace. On your mark, get set. And if you want to go where Jesus leads, then we need to go into the world to witness, to spread the good news, and to tell everyone that Jesus is our Lord. And he never leaves us, for he is with us always.